Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shai. Call Allah Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Barakatam. To you, hopefully, elect out there. And just back with a, a quick video, man. I was uh, meditating on uh, what I should get into and the spirit kind of hit me to speak on this to say a few words concerning fasting which when it comes to fasting man is easily a very underrated tool all right a powerful tool at that but very easily very under underrated you know and one that we should incorporate in this walk of ours all right you know, because the way I look at it, when it comes to fasting, you know, um, it can actually be a form of spiritual power to me. And just my experience when it comes to, you know, my experience with fasting, you know, like I said, man, it, it, to me, it's, it's like a form of spiritual power, man. You know, because the more you fast, the more it's like you level up. You know, and the thing with fasting, you see, it um, strengthens your relationship with Yahweh Bashem El Shai. All right. Because when you're fasting, and I'm talking about a dry fast, no food or drink. All right. Um, that puts you in a, it puts you more in a, um, <clears throat> um, it, it puts you in a in a uh, basically basically like a almost like a spiritual trance, so to say. You see, because like I said, you know, you're connected. You're more connected with the heavenly Father when you when you when you're in the state of fasting. You see, you know. So it's good to fast. You know, um, because you know, for one. Um, you know, the body, when you fast, man, you, you, you're detoxing. All right. Your body's detoxing itself when you fast. All right. You're repl uh, replenishing cells. All right. You know, um, giving your immune system and, and vital organs break, you know, you, you're giving your vital, uh, a lot of your organs a uh, break, you know, <laughs> You know the, the the body heals itself better. So there's a lot of there's a lot of benefits when it comes to fasting, man. You know, um, and um, because I was gonna say, you know, eating all the foods that we eat, because the scriptures talk about how our we will eat our bread defiled amongst the Gentiles, if I'm not mistaken. You know, because pretty much everything that we eat, man, is is filled with chemicals, man, and just all type of all type of shit. All right, that we're putting putting into our bodies, you know, a lot of things that we eat, man, and you know, it, a lot of things that we eat could put us on a lower vibration, you know, it could calcify our pineal gland, you know, which the the, the pineal gland, like I said, that's basically like your direct antenna to Yahweh Bashim Shah. That's like the direct, uh, uh, um. Yeah, it's like a, it's like it's like your spiritual antenna, you know. Um, but like I said, just eating a lot of, you know, you people wonder why, you know, their moods are all over the place. One minute they're happy, the next minute they're sad, you know. Um, and you know, just all over the place as far as their emotions. Well, a lot of times, a lot of that has to do with the foods that we're eating. All right, because again, all these chemicals when you, you got. When you eat these foods, man, you know, when you you look at the, the, the ingredients of these things that we're consuming and, and a lot of that shit, man, it, it has things that we can't even pronounce. You know, that's why I tell people, man, uh, for the most part, um, the less ingredients, the better. And it's better to eat whole foods, right? Like I said, less, you know, the less ingredients, the better. All right, <clears throat> but 
all the, the, the chemicals that we're putting in, putting in our bodies is, you know, putting us on a low vibration, you know, that's why I said when it, when it comes to fasting, you, like I said, you're, you're giving your body a break from all that, you know, a lot of this stuff that, you know, our body can't even digest, it can't even break down, you know, um, so with fasting, like I said, man, it, it, it puts you on a higher vibration. Like I said, you're more in tune spiritually because uh, uh, the thing with fasting, you're cutting off the flesh. All right. And when you cut off the flesh, man, like I said, you're more in tune spiritually. And when you look at a lot of our forefathers, a lot of our forefathers, they fasted. Right. And they received a lot of visions like Esdras. When you read throughout Esdras, man, they, the angels were basically telling him to fast. Right. You know, he will he will receive one set of visions. Right. And then the angel will come back around and tell him to fast another seven days so that he, basically he received the next set of visions. Right. You know. Because, again, when you're fasted, when you're in a fasted state, it puts you in a in a uh, 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 it gets you closer with you. How about you? was shy. You know, a lot of times, you know. Um. You know, you may want more. You may want something, right? Let's say you want more wisdom, right? You want more faith. Well, let's say wisdom, right? You want more wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You want to grow, right? Well, hey, going to fast and the Lord, he'll show you things. He'll reveal things unto you. You see, because again, fasting is a very, very, very powerful tool, man. You know, and like I said, going back to a lot of our forefathers, man, like Moses, man, he fasted 40 days and 40 nights, right? And he received all type of, um, you know, uh, uh, manna, right? All type of wisdom, things that the Lord told him to, 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 to write down and certain things the Lord told him not to write down. But nevertheless, hey, you see, when you're in the fastest state, like I said, hey, the Lord, he'll communicate with you more. He'll show you things. He'll reveal things with you unto you. You see, because again, you're cutting off the flesh, all right, and and you're more spiritually connected to your Habash Shai. You know, when you're going through certain problems like depression, man, like I said, speaking from experience, because a lot of that stuff, man, it's just demons, you know, and with, with, with the power of fasting, man, hey, you can cast out demons. The power of fasting, man, you know, because like I said, fasting is like a form of spiritual power, to me, at least. You can cast out demons, you know. Because, like I said, man, as a, a point in my life, man, I was very uh, depressed and, you know, very, very heavily with the you know, suicidal thoughts, right? <clears throat> you know, but, hey, once I, as I grew in this faith and I started incorporating fasting and I started, the more I started fasting, you know, hey, man, them, them, them demons, you know, they don't, those, those type of demons, they don't affect me as they used to. You know, you see, so the power of fasting, man, it's, it's, you know, it's a very powerful tool that we can all incorporate. All right. You see, but I, um, I'm going to get this in Mark chapter nine, to verse 14. It says and when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them and the scribes questioning with them. And straightway, all the people. When they beheld him, were greatly amazed, and running to him, saluted him, and he asked the scribe, and, and he asked the scribes, "What question ye with them?" And one of the multitude answered and said, "Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which hath a dumb spirit. And whatsoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and and gnasheth with his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciples, that they could, that they should cast him out." And they could not. And he answered him and saith, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And he brought him unto him. And they brought him unto him. And when he saw him, straightway the spirit tear him. And he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. And just a side note, because, you know, what they, these fake and phony Christians, what they call catching the Holy Ghost, right? When they're all shaking, 
vehemently and and you know all bugging out man foaming at the mouth or whatnot those are those are demons man that's that's not you catching the whole that's not you catching what they call the holy ghost or the holy spirit all right this is this is an example of that of what goes on in these christian christian churches all right that's a damn th those are demons all right all shaking and foaming at the mouth you know it said, and he asked his father, how long is it ago since this came unto him? And he said, of a child. So pretty much this uh, child or this this individual, all right, um, this son, he's been dealing with this, I'll say demons, because like I said, most of this stuff, when it comes to like depression, right, you know, uh, uh, um, all these things, you know, mental health issues and, you know, autism whatever whatever the case may be you know whatever whatever plagues that people suffer nowadays for the most part a lot of that stuff is demons all right you see it says and and off and oft times it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him but if thou canst do anything have compassion on us and help us Yahweh Shai said unto him, If thou canst be believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe. Help thou mine unbelief. So you see, man, another thing, like I said, if you want more faith, right, you want more wisdom or whatever the case may be, right, hey, sometimes, you know, go on a fast. You know, the Lord, it will increase you. Like I said, fasting is a is is a form of leveling up. All right. Fasting can be a form of, uh, of growth. You know. Um. It says when Yahushua saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him. Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more unto him. And the spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him. And he was us one dead and so much that many said he is dead. But Yahushua took him by the hand and lifted him up and, uh, and he arose. So you see, because, hey, like fasting, man, like I said, um, hey, it can, fasting can, can heal certain uh, uh, diseases and ailments, right? You know? Because, you know, our people, you know, deal with all type of, you know, health problems, diabetes, whatever. Well, hey, if you incorporate fast and, of course, with a proper diet, right, maybe some exercise, right, hey, man, you know, it's nothing for the Lord to make you, make your body whole, make your body sound, you know. But it said, verse 27, but Yahushua took him by the hand and lifted him up and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, this, this kind can come forth by nothing, but by prayer and fasting. So you see fasting, like I said, man, it's a very powerful tool. You can cast out demons. You can, you know, perform healing acts, man. Like I said, you can heal certain uh, uh, ailments in the flesh, depression, all that, man. Because like I said, a lot of that stuff is just demons anyway. You know, well, hey, if you're dealing with something, go on a fast, man. You know, go on a go on, go on a dry fast. Hey, hell, me, I um, I incorporate something called intermittent fasting. That's something that I do almost every day. You see, which intermittent fasting? There's different um, what do you call it? Um, because basically, you know, when you intermittent fast, I man, it's just you're just giving yourself a a, a, a small uh, 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 window of, of consuming calories. There's different formats to it. You know, you have the eight hour, uh, uh format, right? Well, basically, you know, you, you, uh, you, um, for eight hours, you're consuming all your calories and then, you know, the rest of the, the, you know, after that, eight, once that eight, eight hours is, is, you know, done, then you're fasting the rest the rest of the time, you know, you got a you, you got a, a, a four hour format where you're only consuming for, uh, uh, calories for four hours, right? And then you fast the rest of the time, right? And then at, um, this is typically what I do. Now I'm gonna just say this: 
all right because you know this is this isn't something that everyone can handle you know you had definitely have to ease yourself into it all right but um there's something i think they call it a warrior diet where basically um you basically eat once a day right maybe give yourself a one hour eat a, a, a feeding window where you, you know one hour you're giving you know taking in all the calories that you need that's typically what i do right and like i said it's not for everyone you definitely have to build yourself up to it all right you know but hey that 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 that, that intermittent fasting man hey try you know incorporating that you know giving yourself a certain time period <coughs> Of when you're consuming, um, you know, calories or whatnot, right? You see, the thing with fasting, man, you know, hey, because like, like I said, you're replenishing cells. Your body's getting rid of, um, you know, uh, it's getting rid of the the, the 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 cells that it doesn't need, right? Your body's healing itself, right? You know, hey, you know, when you fast, you're losing weight, you know, <clears throat> you know, um. You know, when you're fasting, when you're in a fasted state, you know, the 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 the, the body's basically cannibal, uh, cannibalizing off itself. You know, you know, eating the fat cells and things like that. So you're losing weight. You know, um, there's a lot of benefits to fasting, man. <clears throat> you know, on a physical level and on a spiritual level. You know. Um. But um. I'm going to read that again in verse 29. It said, and he said unto them, this kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. So you see, hey, like I said, when you're in a fasted state, hey, you know, pray. Because like I said, uh, uh, when you're in a fasted state, pretty much your prayers are more, your prayers are, are magnified. Almost, so to say. You see, because like I said, you're closer, you're more you're more in tune with your Habash Shemesh So when you're in a fasted state and you're praying, it's like your prayers are, are magnified to the Heavenly Father. You see? You know? And I'm going to get this in Tobit chapter 12 and verse. Tobit, top, Tobit chapter 12. Because I, I, so like I was going to make the point, like when you're in a fasted state, like I said, all this is going on. Your, your body's healing itself, getting rid of you know, cells it doesn't need and, you know, all these things going on. Um, when you fasted, when you're fasting, you'll notice you're more in tune. Your your senses are sharper. All right. You're more focused. You know. Definitely uh, more focused. You know, and believe it or not. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, well, at least for me personally, because, you know, fasting may have a different effect on everyone. But I have more energy, you know. Because, hey, I even work out while I'm fasted. I work out when I'm fasted. You know? um, Because you ever wonder why, you know, when you eat, man, and it's, it's like your body just crashes. You know, out of all of a sudden you're tired. You know? You know? What do they call it? The, 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 what do they call that? Um, I forgot what they call it, but basically, like I said, you know, after you eat a, you you may eat a meal or whatever, right? And then, like I said, you just feel that feeling of just crash, and you know, you're just tired and you're just weak. You know, well, like I said, when you're fasted, hey, you're more focused, you have more energy, or you, you know, like I said, it's different for everyone. For me, I have more energy, I'm more focused, laser sharp, more on point. You see, because like I said, you're more in tune with your spirit when you're fasted, when you're fasting. All right, and like I said, hey. Quite frankly, hey, the, you know, your prayers are are, are magnified. Because, again, you're more in tune with your Habash Shemel Shai. You're more in tune with the spirit. You see, you're cutting off the flesh, cutting off the pleasures of the flesh. All right? And that's how you build in the spirit. That's how you grow in the spirit. All right? So I'm going to read this in October chapter 12, verse 8. It says, prayer is good with fasting. And alms and righteousness. A little with righteousness is better than much with unrighteousness. It is better to give alms than to lay up gold. But the point being, it says prayer is good with fasting. <laughs> All right. Because like I said, hey, you know, when you're in fasting, um, it's, it's, it's almost kind of like the, the, the Lord is, 
uh, 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 more, um, you know, it's, it's, it's almost like the, you know, all eyes are more so on you. Because like I say, you know, when you're fasting, your prayers are more magnified. You see, so when you're in a fast state, pray, you know, and like I said, hey, the Lord, you know, it's, it's, it's like the, the Lord will almost be more inclined to, you know, uh, you know, grant that request, whatever it may be. <laughs> like I said, you want more wisdom, you know, you may um, have questions per, uh, per, uh, pertaining to certain breakdowns or precepts or whatever. Well, hey, you're going to fast. Hey, the Lord, he will, he will reveal it to you. He'll, he'll give you the understanding. He'll give you the knowledge. You know, or he'll give you more faith or whatever the case may be. All right. You see, but the fasting, man, that's a very powerful tool, man. You know, very underrated. All right. And again, something that we should definitely incorporate in this walk of ours. All right. You know, so hopefully this was edifying, giving all praises to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. How about Shemashah Brakatum to the hopefully elect? Lord's will until next time, Shalom.